So we talked about building a computer on the cheap, right? You can get parts, you can buy a pre-built Dell Optiplex that has an i7 or an i5 in it. They, there is even plenty of HP computers out there that you can get for about the same price. But the big problem a lot of people pointed out, especially in the comments or in the Reddit post where people were talking about this elsewhere, was that it doesn't come with all of the more I guess current connections. For example, USB 3 is completely left off of this Optiplex and that can be a problem. One, USB 2, while it is fast enough for some people, 3.0 3 is, is a good deal faster now that every hard drive that you buy, external hard drive, comes with USB 3.0 or 3.1 or Thunderbolt. 2.0 does start to seem a little slower than what you'd expect now, but you don't have to get a newer motherboard or a newer computer to enjoy USB 3.0. In fact, some people just want USB 3 on their current computer because it does what they need it to. In this case, I wanted to get an HD60S, which is an Elgato device that lets us capture footage of games when we're playing them, but it runs on USB 3 and that helps with things like very small latency, whereas with 2.0, there is some pretty significant latency when you're capturing. So I figured, why don't we put USB 3.0 into this computer here that's a little older that some people might get use out of. So let's go ahead and do that now. So the first thing we need to do is get a USB 3.0 card. And this one in particular is a Malia PCIe to USB 3. It has four USB 3 ports on the back, which is great. And it also has an auxiliary port for power just in case whatever you're plugging in maybe pulls a little extra power. That will actually run to a Molex and let us power those devices, which is great. And this can go into any computer that has a free PCIe slot basically anything as long as say 16 and 8 or even a 1 like this is designed for it will work fine so maybe you have an older for example desktop that has multiple PCIe 16 lanes but you're only using one for a video card but you want USB 3 you could pop it into one of those maybe you have a longer one that would deal with something like a sound card you could pop it in there or of course the 1x like this one and this one right here does have a free spot for a PCIe 1 so we're gonna go ahead get this apart pop it in and uh, check it out here we go, let's pop the side off and locate at the bottom the PCI Express lane. Now this one is a full size one at PCI Express 16. We're going to pop the latch off the back and then get ready to install this card. Again, it's right about there. Now you want to be very careful popping this card in, just making sure everything lines up in the back and then have the plastic clip on the back after you line it up, clip right back into place and it'll hold it down. Next up, we'll connect the auxiliary power. You can either use your standard SATA that's already there for power, or you can use the Molex to SATA. I'll go ahead and use the Molex to SATA since that's what came with it, and that's what some of you may use. Just make sure it's plugged in all the way. Sometimes it feels like it's in, but it's not. And then carefully make sure the notch is on the correct side for that auxiliary power. Just go ahead, plug it right in, and it's ready to go. Now you'll see here, I went ahead and picked up an extension cable for it. That way I can reach it to the front. This one is actually long enough to where you could probably run it up next to your keyboard if you don't wanna to have to reach even down to the computer to plug something in. And we do get a disc with it that has the drivers. Just go ahead and pop it into your computer disc drive now. Now when you first turn your computer on, you're gonna see it's missing the driver for this USB device, not a problem. Go ahead, hit update driver, browse my computer, hit browse, scroll down to where you have the DVD into your drive, hit OK, and then we're just gonna hit next right past the screen. It'll search that disk and automatically find the drivers for us. That one is now done. Now you're gonna notice that there is an unknown device that has appeared. We're just gonna do the exact same process again to that and it will install the remaining driver. At this point, we're all done. We now have the host and the root hub there and we are ready to go. So now let's go ahead and run it through a quick test just to make sure everything's working as it should. I'm gonna move a video file from an external 5400 RPM drive that does support USB 3. It is currently plugged into the USB 2 port and it's getting anywhere between 30 and 35 megabytes per second, which is actually pretty solid for a USB 2.0 port. But now let's jump over to the USB 3 port. With the USB 3 port and the same file, we're getting anywhere between 75 and 80 megabytes per second, which is two and a half times faster. That's a much better improvement over what we were dealing with.
And that's pretty much all there is to it, guys. At this point, this computer is set up and ready to go for USB 3. Higher transfer speeds or devices that are specifically designed for USB 3 are now compatible. And this is really good for anyone who has an older computer. Maybe they're running on a budget and they don't want to upgrade the motherboard and then possibly the processor and then anything else for it to work. This device, I mean, the card is like $30. It's a little less than that. And then I even had that extension cable that runs to the top here because I wouldn't be able to reach the back very easily. That was about 10 bucks. So overall, it's anywhere from $35 to $40, depending on where you get them from. I picked them up from Amazon. They got here in two days, and we're ready to go. Again, this is for people who are running on a budget. If you're looking to build a whole new computer, USB 3, 3.1, all that, will probably come with your motherboard now. It's pretty much standard. But this just breathes a little more connectivity and life into an older computer that is still rather capable. That's it for now, guys. I will see you next time.